So, you have low FPS. It must really suck to be you. But fear not, because today I'm going to be telling you every possible reason as to why you have low FPS and also how you can fix that. So drop a like, subscribe, and we're just going to get straight into this. So the first reason as to why you could have low FPS and you need to check all of these things and make sure to watch to the end because I will be showing you how to fix each of these things plus some, you know, extra tips here and there. But the first reason could be underpowered hardware. Yes, underpowered hardware. What this causes is a potential CPU bottleneck, which is basically if this processor, your CPU isn't strong enough or it's running at unusually high usage, it will limit your game's performance and sometimes, you know, crash or drop your FPS or just generally give you a more stable but lower FPS experience. It may be because of GPU limitations. So this could be a weak or outdated graphics card. That is definitely big trouble, especially especially in graphically intense scenes and games. So Fortnite, for example, is CPU intensive, meaning it relies on your CPU more so, but it still does rely on your GPU. And regardless, there are some games that do the opposite. They rely more on your GPU. And this doesn't even have to be in a gaming sense. You could be playing Fortnite, but you know, trying to record, for example, and recording, especially on OBS, depends on your encoder, but mainly would use your GPU or things like Discord, if it's not optimized, would prioritize and try and use as much as your GPU as possible. So you kind of like balancing and although your Fortnite, it may be running good CPU side, your GPU's, you know, struggling and you don't even notice. But hey, now you know. Now the next thing, and again, I'm going to give you fixes at the end of the video. The next thing, highly important that you understand all of these, outdated drivers or software. This could be your graphics card drivers or even Windows operating system updates. If your graphics card drivers are out of date, this will slow down performance. And missing critical system updates also interferes with performance. I know a lot of people say, don't update Windows, don't update Windows. Yes, there has been times where it's done the opposite, but generally update your Windows. It's just the safest option. Especially if you've been on an old version for a very long time, this will definitely be a problem in this case. And graphics drivers, there's no optimal graphics driver for Fortnite or any game really. This is a myth. It's been debunked a million times. I'll try and link a video down below from the boy Corvi who actually, you know, proved otherwise. So yeah, update your drivers. It's a myth. You're not on an optimal driver. Get off it if you are on an old driver and use the newest one. Just update them drivers. Now, another reason you could be getting bad FPS, your in-game settings. They just might be too high. Obviously, if you're using like ultra or high, whatever the highest option settings are, that is going to cause a problem. It pushes for maximum graphics, which, yeah, your game may look really good. But on a weaker system, this is going to cause, you know, FPS drops. It's not a good idea. And high resolutions as well. So if you're using, I don't know, you have a 4K monitor, but a low end PC, this is going to tax your GPU heavily. And we don't want that in any scenario, not just gaming. My old heads know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Comment down below. Now, the next thing that could be throttling your performance is thermal throttling. Sounds pretty fancy, but put simply, this is overheating components. So if your CPU or GPU gets too hot, it's under pressure, it reduces its speed and does that to protect itself, actually. It's kind of like our bodies, you know, when we're, I don't know, working out so much, we get tired naturally, right? Or we have a pain in our muscles. I don't know if this is a good analogy, but you know, you're, you're working out so much, your muscles hurt, right? That is your body telling you to stop. You're going to damage your body if you keep going. And this is what our GPUs and CPUs do. They reduce speed to prevent damage, which is in other words called throttling. And because I don't want this video to be too long and I want to get to the fixes, let's just speed through this. Background processes and bloatware, these causes a lot of problems. So that could be too many apps on your PC that eat up resources or just unnecessary startup apps. And that's kind of where the, you know, the idea of bloatware comes in. This is just stuff that bloats you. You know, if you eat too much food, you feel bloated. This is unnecessary. You know, you've already, you're already full. If you eat too much, you then get bloated and it doesn't feel good. You feel worse than before you started. Hopefully that's a good, I, I don't know where these analogies are coming from, but hopefully you get on them about it's unnecessary internet connection issues now you may be surprised with this one ping does not directly affect fps but a poor connection can cause stutters generally and it makes the game feel more sluggish so it may actually you know trick you a little bit it could actually be more of a latency issue and again we're showing the fix in this video i know i keep saying that but this will fix both latency and fps and last but not least game file issues or corrupted you know, game data. So this is also called fragmentation and missing or corrupted files can cause instabilities and generally reduce performance. Now, as I promised, 
a million times onto the fixes. First fix would be to update your drivers. Everyone should do every fix, by the way, because you may not, you may be like, oh, I think it's this issue, but it's actually probably another issue, actually. And that tends to be the case with PCs. They're quite temperamental. It's hard to diagnose the issue. So you may as well just do them all. So firstly, update your drivers, GPU drivers, and then also do just general Windows updates. To do this, just go to the NVIDIA GeForce application, or sorry, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application. If you have an, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, if you're on AMD, I think it's called AMD Adrenaline. I'm pretty sure. Or if you're on Intel, it'll be called like Intel Driver Support Assistant or Assistant, something like that. And for Windows updates, it's very, very simple. Just press the Windows key on your keyboard, type check for updates or just type updates and you'll be able to install the updates there. If you're having any issues of anything I mentioned, comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. The next fix would be to adjust your game settings. This could be, I'm going to go on the guise of Fortnite, but this kind of translates to every game. So for Fortnite, open your game, go to settings and your video settings. Make sure your resolution is, you know, low. You can just slowly drop it. I recommend 1920 by 1080, which is native generally. But if you're already using it and having problems, go to 1600 by 900. I really wouldn't go much lower than this. Graphics quality, set all of those in game to ideally the lowest option. Any shadows have the off and any textures have them on the lowest option. And your frame rate limit, have this at your monitor's refresh rate. So if you're at 60 hertz, have it at 60 FPS. I guess you can go a bit higher in this case, but again, it depends. You want a stable, you want it to be stable and have the lowest latency though. So I guess if you're on 60, you can maybe go up to 100, but don't go much higher. And if you're generally getting more FPS anyway than this, you're probably not watching the video. But if you are, just upgrade your monitor. If you're on 144 hertz though, cap at 144. And if you're at 240, at 240 of course also if you have something called post processing in game i don't think fortnite has this exactly but turn that to low it will really squeeze more frames now moving on close all your background processes i think off the top of my head you can do this by pressing Control shift escape which will open your task manager or you can just you know if that's incorrect just type it in in your windows search bar go in here and you should find startup applications just you know identify the apps that consume the most cpu or memory you'll be able to see in there and either, you know, end them tasks or just turn them all off, get rid of them. The next fix would be to check your temperatures and clean your PC generally. And I don't mean physically clean it, although that is good. Getting any dust out of your PC will actually ensure the fans are working better and give you, you know, a cooler system. But also just getting rid of things that you don't need on your PC. So you can download an op application like C Cleaner. I mentioned this in my one of my last videos. You're going to have to find it. But yeah, this is really good. It gets rid of all those temp files and things that you don't need that actually kind of, you know, use resource. They sit there and they use up cpu resources and things that you need you know but primarily on this point of temperatures you can use softwares or programs like hw monitor or core temp you can just get these on google and this will let you check your temperatures and if they're way too high consider getting a better cooling solution if you've already followed every other tip Moving on swiftly, I told you this would be quick. I feel like the videos are really very long. Verify and repair your game files. So for Fortnite, this works for every game, but for Fortnite particularly, because it's the only one I can really remember off the top of my head because my channel's mainly Fortnite related. But don't let that deter you from subscribing. Open your Epic Games launcher, go to library, click on Fortnite. You see three dots right there. Press manage, verify. If I'm not clear, just you can search this up on Google. It's very simple. And there'll be an option to verify. Just click verify. It'll check and it'll repair any corrupted files. But do note that this is going to reset your game config. So if you've ever optimized your game user settings or even your in-game settings, which I, you've probably done already this video, it may reset those. So just double check. And if it has, I have full videos on like either full Fortnite video settings or even like a back-end Fortnite best game config video. I've got loads of videos on my channel. Just go and check them out and honestly, it's better for you. And finally, 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 consider hardware upgrades. Yeah, that's it. If, if, if necessary, you've got to this point of the video and you're still having problems, you just need to upgrade your hardware, bro. And that means your, you know, your, your specs. Now, where to start? I think RAM, most likely RAM would be the issue. So if you haven't got at least eight gigabytes of RAM, that's a big problem. And if you are still having issues with eight gigabytes of RAM, it's probably your other hardware, but people do recommend preferably for gaming and gaming in this day and age, and especially Fortnite. Fortnite's really hard to run. So especially for Fortnite, I would recommend at least 16 gigabytes, at least. It depends on the game, but for Fortnite, especially, yeah, my Fortnite, my Fortnite gamers, 16 gigabytes is best. DDR4, I think for most of you, if you're watching this video, just get DDR4 and make sure it is at least 3,200 megahertz. That's very, very important. And of course, if you have a bad graphics card, so you haven't got like at least an RTX series at this point, or you have worse than an i7 CPU, yeah, that's, that's again, probably your issue. So definitely go and upgrade. If you have any questions on what to upgrade to and whatever it may be, comment it down below. 
and I'll be sure to answer. But yeah, that's everything. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and may peace be upon you.